It is I, Mr. Sunglasses, with my 8-bit clunky retro glasses, my NES controller, and of course, a game box over there. Today we're going to be playing Bad News Baseball. Nothing related to Bad News Bears, like, other than they both play baseball. This is pretty much like taking the RBI baseball engine and reskinning it with a little bit more fun, kid friendly things. Like, uh, kid friendly, I, I don't know. The Empires are Rabbits. Uh, one really interesting feature to this is the fact that there are 12 teams that kind of mirror NFL teams. Um, there's their own stats and everything. You can type in a code and switch and be girls' little league. And the game is pretty much the same, except all the teams are actually different named and different stats. And you're, you're playing as girls. The one thing I wish they had was the ability to play boys team versus a girls team, you know, or vice versa, whatever. You can't do that, but it's kind of neat um, that they included a girls section. So basically you have 24 teams in the game. Uh, whichever side you pick, you know, whichever group you pick, boys or girls, the single player is just keep playing the game until you've beaten every team. Um, if you lose, you'll have to play that team again in the rotation. But it just basically round robins and when you beat a team it gets pulled out and then does it again and again. Uh, it has like some pitcher fatigue and stuff like that between games, if you really want to get into it. Um, this is probably one of my favorite baseball games on the NES, if not my favorite. It's it's one we played a lot when I was, uh, you know, the NES was the it machine. So, let's check out some bad news baseball, shall we? I'm gonna do an all-star game, why not? Do you want to be the Supers or the Ultras? I'll be Ultra this time. Let's see, I mean, there's actually like controls, your lineup, and all kinds of crazy stuff, and the graphics are nice and bright. And these are, the NES is really what defined baseball controls. There hasn't been much improvement. I mean, you got the weird little, like, you know, nuancing to pitching and that sort of stuff, but it really comes down to, you know, fastball, curveball, slider. You know, and then A hit, and then left, right, up, and down, throwing ball. I mean, it's it's all, there really is not much improvement that needed to be made from the NES controls. And it's, I mean, in some ways, I'd prefer to play this over some of the more modern baseball games because they get too convoluted with controls. It just doesn't need it. Plus, they don't have rabbit umpires. And when you're out, you go unconscious. And I mean, you know, down and throw his fastball. And... Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, he's gonna get a triple out of this. He's gonna get a home run because I'm... <laughs> I talk about the controls and then I screw it up big time. Uh, up and throw is a bit, you know, kind of a slower... And you got curving in and out. And a little bit of control after you throw the ball, just because. To give you the more nuance. Uh, no, that's not the one I want. I want this one. One button makes your guy run faster. Ugh, oh, I am so sucking. All star my butt. Ultra team is a all oh, ultra suck. You can't err. There's there is that possibility. I think that if I play All Stars, the computer is actually good too. So, so when I play this, I remember playing normal or whatever. They were not getting that many hits. These guys here pretty much always hit if it's a strike zone. Oh, I take that back. Hey. Shit. That seems like my little dudes are running slower. Oh. 
I think I actually physically hit him with that ball, I'm not sure. Oh no, Billy, 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 Billy. Knowing where your outfielders are, that is the one. You know, knowing where your outfielders are uh, in this game is really important to kind of, kind of feel where they are so that you know who should really be running for these balls. He could have made that. That was a mercy there. Freaking frickin' frack! Oh, why am I so bad at this right now? Oh, error! I turn. <laughs> I thought I was still there. <laughs> I'm a failure. Ah, uh... oh, home run in the crowds for a while. Yeah, kids, great. Ah, oh, I'm so bad at this. No, oh, okay. All right, I won't torture you with any more. But <laughs> this is one of my favorite baseball games. I am just so out of practice, I guess, or something. But you see the basics. I mean, there's not much more you can do it. Up, down, left, right, throw the ball first, second, third, home. You know, uh, hit, pitch. No, there's, you know, it's hard to improve upon. I mean, the NES had perfect controls for baseball. There wasn't a need to improve it anymore. They have and made it like more quote-unquote realistic or whatever, but is it really as much fun? I don't think so. Anyhow, I'm Mr. Sunglasses, and next time we'll be playing yet another bad game. Let's see how bad this bad game actually is, and if it's good or bad or bad, bad, bad or good. We'll see. Till next time.